Number 10, The Last Medici. It was the year 1743, and the last surviving member of the Medici family, the great bloodline that had ruled Florence for nearly 300 years, died a slow, miserable, and extremely painful death. Her name was Anna Maria Luisa de Medici, and historical records show that she died of syphilis. If you know anything about the disease, then you know it was a pretty terrible way to go. The tomb of Anna Medici was never lost, but it was exhumed in October of 2012 as part of an archaeological project conducted by the University of Florence. There was dramatic flooding in 1966 and most of the Medici family tombs have been damaged, but Anna's proved to be just fine, with researchers finding her corpse in a fairly good position. It was beyond creepy. She was literally just bones with an old rusty crown on her head, but she was still in good shape. Researchers were eager to discover her cause of death. Even though historical records showed syphilis, they wanted to be sure. So they took a piece of her bone and analyzed it. They found that she didn't actually have any indications of late-stage syphilis, though she may have had an earlier stage of the disease that caused her organs to fail. This still would have caused her to die slowly and painfully. Number 9. Radiated Chupacabra A group of hunters in Ukraine came across a horrifying monster that they described as a radiated mutant chupacabra. The hunters shot the animal dead in a remote area of forest, then were alarmed to find that it didn't look like any animal they'd ever seen before. What in tarnation? It was completely gray, with sharp fangs that looked like they belonged to a vampire. It kind of looked like a kangaroo with its short legs, but it had an extraordinarily long neck. While nobody has been able to properly identify the animal, everyone agrees that whatever it is, it's creepy. The hunters were so curious that they took it to a local veterinarian, Alexander Korotia. He said that the creature shared some similarities to either a fox or a dog, but could not properly identify it through pictures. It was probably some kind of mutant coyote, though the hunters are sticking with their first idea that it's a chupacabra, considering that the chupacabra is a blood-sucking monster said to live in New Mexico and Texas. This probably isn't the case. Number 8. A Modern Mummy Bruce Roberts was a big-time hoarder. He lived in Sydney, Australia, in his house that was basically just a giant nest of garbage. He occasionally paced up and down the street in a brown coat. His neighbors rarely spoke to him, though they were certainly aware of the hoarder's existence. When home, he lived in squalor with his windows barricaded, his doors locked, and piles of nasty and useless junk all around him. Sadly, Bruce was discovered dead in his home a few years back in 2017. Because Bruce didn't seem to have any family, a garbage cleanup crew was hired to clear out all the junk from his house. But it was while they were clearing decades worth of actual garbage that they uncovered the mummified body of a person underneath a rug in the back of the house. Bruce had been living for years with an actual corpse in the room next to him. Nobody knows who the mysterious corpse was, if the individual was friends with Bruce, or if Bruce had anything to do with his death. They can't exactly question the hoarder since he's dead. They also can't identify the dead guy found in Bruce's house because he had already been decomposing for upwards of a year. Police are treating the death as suspicious, but they don't have any clue as to his identity. Who do you think the corpse is? Do you think Bruce killed the guy? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 7. Snake Eating Spiders A new study has revealed some creepy facts about spiders that you may not even want to know. But here goes. Apparently, North American spiders have a taste for eating reptiles. So I guess don't walk your pet snake or lizard in an area known to have these spiders. According to the leader of the study, Martin Niefler from the University of Basel in Switzerland, he and his team were shocked to find multiple different types of spiders that not only have the capability of killing snakes, but that frequently eat them for dinner. 
The researchers uncovered over 300 examples of spiders killing and eating snakes, involving over 40 different spider species and 90 species of snake. As you can probably guess, tarantulas were found as one of the spiders most likely to trap and eat a snake. But what you would probably never guess is that the spiders responsible for the most snake deaths are black widows. And this phenomenon doesn't happen only in the tropics, in places like the Amazon. It happens the most in North America. Black widow spiders trap snakes in their webs and then slowly eat them over a long period of time. If you didn't find spiders to be creepy enough already, the fact that they can hunt and kill serpents should probably do the trick. Imagine how epic that battle would be to witness. Number 6. Human Remains Archaeologists made a horrifying discovery of human remains at the Jedburgh Alley in Scotland while doing some restoration work. Construction employees were refurbishing the rampart walls near the abbey when they came across scraps of dead humans. It's believed that the remains go back about 200 years, though we're still waiting for experts to remove the bones from the site to be fully analyzed. The Jedburgh Abbey itself was built around the year 1118, beginning as a place of worship before becoming a monastery. It became a fully-fledged abbey and was dedicated to the Virgin Mary in the year 1147. It was then used continuously for religious worship until 1871, when the local government considered it too unsafe to be entered. The abbey is now being restored and should open soon, unless, of course, the workers find even more human bones. Number 5. Jar of Chicken Bones a creepy jar filled with chicken bones was discovered in Athens, Greece. According to the experts, it was used as a curse 2,321 years ago. The bizarre container was found in 2006 underneath the classical commercial building in Athens. This is near the ancient Agora, what was once a central public space in classic Greece. It was where artists, business people, and politicians would meet, gather, and talk about their lives. The jar itself was intended as a curse to paralyze 55 victims. The name of each victim was carved on the side of the jar. It was essentially a bomb hidden underneath the public space, intended to curse a large number of victims when they met there. According to Jessica Lamont from Yale University, the one who actually analyzed the jar and looked at its contents, a seven-month-old chicken had been used as the main ingredient. The poor chicken had been ripped apart and stuffed into the jar. Then a large iron nail had been driven through it to seal the curse. This was actually quite common back in ancient Greece, though it's doubtful a bunch of chicken bones in a jar had any effect on anybody. Number 4. Worm in the Eye a man in India made a creepy discovery in the worst place imaginable. Well, it wasn't him who discovered it, it was actually the man's doctor. You see, this man went to his eye doctor because he couldn't see out of his left eye. He had a lot of pain in that whole part of his face, and his eye had gone blood red. He also complained that it felt like something was moving inside his eye, making it impossible to see. That was when the doctor found a living worm squirming around in his eyeball. And not just a small worm either. It was a pretty long worm, which had made its home in the vitreous cavity, located near the back of the eye, behind the lens, but in front of the retina. How can such a creepy thing happen to a person? According to the eye doctor, it probably moved through the blood vessels while in its larval stage, then buried itself into the tissue layers of the eyeball. How it got into his bloodstream in the first place is still a mystery. It may have been deposited by a fruit fly. Either way, doctors had to surgically remove the parasitic worm from the guy's eyeball. It was a successful operation, and thankfully, he can once more see out of his left eye. That's good, but still gross. Number 3. Creepy Ancient Toy Collection In Siberia, archaeologists recently uncovered a child's grave from the Bronze Age. It's not the grave itself that's creepy, but rather some of the bizarre toys found buried with the kid. 
Not only are these some of the oldest toys ever uncovered, but they are also some of the creepiest. They date all the way back to prehistoric times to a local Siberian ethnic group called the Akunyev culture. The toys included creepy animal figurines as well as doll heads. According to archaeologist Andrei Polyakov, the doll heads go back an incredible 4,500 years. Even though they're pretty small, measuring only a few inches in height, they were crafted with remarkable precision. They have lifelike facial structures, making them about as creepy as any modern porcelain doll. But rather than being made out of plastic or glass, these doll heads were carved from soapstone. Nobody knows who crafted the toys or for who they were made for, or what the exact purpose of the sinister-looking toys were. Maybe the local kids played with them like prehistoric Barbie dolls. Whatever the case, they were important enough to be buried with a young kid when they died. Number 2. 7,000-Year-Old Bone Horde Archaeologists working in Saudi Arabia have discovered a cave full of bones. The bones have been collected by striped hyenas for the past 7,000 years. It's one of the oldest bone hordes ever uncovered, with hyenas using the cave consistently all this time to stash the bones of their dead victims. And in case you were wondering, yes, there were indeed human bones found along with plenty of animal bones. The bones inside the cave are from cows, goats, camels, horses, plenty of rodents, and the occasional person. Archaeologists found almost a dozen shards from human skulls, specifically shards from human skull caps. These are the only human bones archaeologists have found, because according to Matthew Stewart from the Max Planck Institute, skull caps are the only human bones hyenas don't like to eat. We don't know if the hyenas actually killed anybody, or if they were simply digging into graves and stealing dead bodies to bring back to their lair. Either way, it's truly creepy behavior, and it's been going on for a very long time. The only reason there are no hyenas bringing dead bodies back to the cave now is because it's currently filled with archaeologists. This makes us wonder though, who exactly did these human bones belong to, and is there a way to find out? Number 1. Hidden Cellar A man named Robert from Worcester in the United Kingdom was on vacation when he discovered a weird secret door to an underground chamber in his rental property. The secret cellar was hiding beneath the living room, and while a secret cellar is about as creepy as it can get, Robert was even more spooked when he found that the cellar was flooded with several inches of bright green water. It looked like he opened the door to an underground witch's potion cauldron. Robert reached out to the owner of the property after making the grim discovery. He was then informed that a plumber had dyed the water bright green to look for a leak. All that water then leaked into the basement and was never sucked out. Why exactly there was a door to the basement in the middle of the living room was never explained, nor was the strange hole in the wall filled with rusty old tools. Robert enjoyed his vacation and made it out in one piece, but he's probably not recommending the creepy property to any of his friends. Which of these discoveries creeped you out the most? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe and don't forget to watch more amazing videos from the channel.